<clears throat> Yo YouTube. Sorry, my legs go to sleep. I've been sitting cross legged. When a lie has been told, the truth is like the opposite. And I'm talking about Eve being made out of Adam's rib. Is a lie. The lie is that man was made first and man is above woman. And if that's the lie, then the opposite is true. Now, here comes the analogy of mine about the soul and the solar system that men are the sun at the centre and women are the, all of the planets in their complexity so women are matter the hard stuff men are this one simple light in the sense that's our hearts now you've got the thing where Satan refused to bow to man and in this analogy in the Quran and it's coming out in these books which I'm going to talk about in this video where the analogy is that the angels were created they were like light like the sun and then the man out of clay and Satan refused to kneel in, in the sense to the clay. So with my analogy with men and women, men refuse to kneel to the women if you like to to take on so I'm saying, you know, okay, are things equal? Yes, but we have different um attributes different things to bring now is men and still believe today and traditionally very much have believed that you, they must control the women but should it be the other way around when there is a difference in agreement about something you know and this whole story made up about it was Eve who ate the apple first and da 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 da. And, you know, blaming it on her. So that makes, you know, men say, well, we should be in control because look what you did, you know, you bloody stupid tart. Uh. <laughs> so it's the opposite. And, uh, I was meditating on it, and, uh, and uh, yes, I kneeled to my soulmate. I did. I like this. Like, yeah, dominate. You know, dominate me. Because. I mean, men get ideas, and I think, I don't know. Like, the women are the, is, is the woman the builder, or is it the opposite? Yeah. So much to think about and stuff. But that was the main sort of flashpoint for starting this video but I've had a I've got a little list of things I wanted to see but at the top of my list is soulmate connection not sexual and so in regards to my soulmate I have been um, on 
the same one for quite a while. And the strongest confirmation I've had that it's her was during a, a meditation of whatever the thoughts that kind of brought it up, feelings. But I've talked before about colours and how the some like the deepest things I've ever felt have always involved colours been related to a certain colour. And I felt my soulmate and I felt that sort of commitment getting stronger that I've never had that you know there'd be a an eternal companion not just a companion but that we are one and there was this feeling that she was that made her happy and there were these colours between us like a, a ribbon quite a fat ribbon with stripes different sort of colours it was just like a, yeah like I don't know it's really but really deep really really sh strong like you know this this girl I believe is my soulmate you know there are lots of things about her that set her apart from anyone else, any other girl. And particularly, this is one that I never really ever wanked about her. It was, it was never easy and I have recently, but it's, it's always difficult. And this kind of got me on to, you know, there we go back to AJ and Mary. And I've publicly said, you know, that I don't think Mary is AJ's soulmate. And it's this, this sexual thing, I find it slightly disturbing. Because it's like, you know, he tells, is given the impression to us that you know, to find your soul, your soulmate will be more, and it, it probably is true, but what I'm seeing is that the sex bit will be the last of it, not the beginning of it. And in a sense, what I've been finding lately is that it's really easy to get, um, to get sort of sexually excited about someone who is, at least in my mind, promiscuous. Someone, and also, you know, someone who's with a partner. Suddenly then the imagination of it becomes all because it's naughty. And perhaps because someone with a partner wants to um, you know, has that temptation to stray more because when you're with someone, the, just the thought of oh, I'm with this person for all my life, then you know it's like the temptation to have someone else is greater. But anyway, so what I'm saying is that to find that soulmate. Like, you have to go on the feelings, and what I'm saying is, they're not going to be down here with your soulmate uh, all the time. You know, that is not the sign to look for, that I'm looking for my soulmate. Someone, But I have had experiences with this girl where I had the biggest hard-on in my life. Like, it was bizarre. I just got back from Africa and she stayed over at my house. Sorry, I'm, I don't want to give clues away, not that anyone really listens to this because, yeah. <laughs> but, there, there, so there is, 
it it does involve the sexual, but you know it's 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 all going to be so strong up here that the stuff down here doesn't even really doesn't really even add up to much in a sense. Catch me drift. So you know, and that kind of puts another brick on my wall that I'm saying that AJ and Mary aren't soulmates that she's not she's not the reincarnated Mary because you know that they, they have this bizarre sexual thing where AJ will be standing right next to her looking at her while she's talking and you know it's almost heavy breathing <laughs> Yeah, it's just all a bit weird. You know, there's my opinion. Right. Now the next thing on the list, list, and this is the biggest, biggest thing really, the biggest reason for this uh, video, and I should probably title it. Uh, 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 uh. Right. <clears throat> Think the world, the physical world, is a preparation for us in that, in its manifestation, it's, it's kind of like what is to come. And part of that is that we, we're born. We existed in the womb, but we're born and we have this physical life. And it's, it's short, you know. So you, you're born, you're young, you think, you know, I don't want to waste my life, this is my life. I'm at the beginning of my life, <laughs> everything's great, great. And as you get older, you start to think a bit more and... I'm the age of 40 now and, you know, I've got beliefs about what happens after death so I'm not so worried about this life. But, this is preparing us, so this, the analogy is, is that we're born. We, so by the time you realise you've got soul, you've got an eternal soul. But there was a point where it was, didn't exist. And then it was existed and is going to exist for a long, 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 ever and ever and ever. Right. So, part of understanding what we are and what God is, is a big, big, big subject. And I am now pretty certain it's quite new few days few days of like embracing this this truth fully is that our mother and father created us we're in our mother and father the universe is the physical manifestation this physical body is borrowed, is made of God. Everything is made of God, our mother and father. And we, as a soul, we have a physical manifestation too. And because we're in God, we are the black holes in God. Now if you were to go into that black hole, it would be another universe. Now we're really new, so there won't be much in there. So it is the same that this universe, God's universe, is a black hole in another universe. And I think of these as eye shape. So God has a mum and dad. And that has a mum and dad and a mum and dad. 
And there's six, I think there's six or seven when you hit source. And source, what was it, upside down triangle? It was, it was something like that when I first felt it. It was like, when I first, what I just described to you then, universes in the other universes, when that first hit me, my soul, whew, so it's taken a while to sort of, and then I'm thinking, well, you know, it's taken me a while because I was thinking, well, I'm belittling God. I, I'm, and God wants us to know the truth. And when you're in the truth, then, then you get a direct connection all the way. You, if you're in line with God, then you're going to be in line with Source. But knowing it is... Knowing it is, 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 is necessary. You need, to, you need to know these things to be able to sort of take them on. Take them on into your brain and intellectualise and take them on into your gut and feelize. <laughs> That's a good word. Feelize. Feelize the truth. So, you know, so I'm only guessing, but in a hundred billion years, I imagine that when the, when the next new lot's born, it'll be our turn to go into source. And, you know, who knows what that is, but we'll have had a hundred billion years. <laughs> In 15 billion years we're going to have to do something like God has done. <laughs> That's a long way away. Right. Why sometimes I just think, just settle with the next thousand years is enough. <laughs> but what I thought was, if you're going to have a new birth into your eternal life, you kind of need to know what that entails, that next stage, you know. Yeah. Right, we'll go on to the next thing on the list. I may come back to that, it's because I say as well, when AJ has been describing God, it often sounds like AJ is describing Source. But both, I suppose. But I'm saying that they're different. God, our mother and father, is a being, a person like us, but much, much, much older, has learnt much, much, much more. But kind of source of all love and, I mean, God's got loads of love, like loads, I could, you know, fill me up billions, zillion times. But the source of all love, the, you know, the thing at the centre is, is something else, and I guess it's been going on forever, you know. And this is why it comes down to it, you know. It's like mental to think like that, but, you know, it's why it comes down to that question. To be or not to be. To exist or not to exist. To love or not to love. And that, you know, they've been the biggest heartbeaters for me when I first felt God and stuff. It was, it was all that.
It was all about that for me. <coughs> right. On to the next thing on the list. Um, Book of Adam and Eve. Now, there seems to be a whole load of new books on the internet. I think they've been around for a couple of years. So I've just dumbled onto them now. And it's related to the flat earth stuff as well, which is probably why I haven't got onto it until now. Because it just put me off. I didn't want to listen to any. Um... No, I mean, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure actually they might be newer than that, maybe a year. Because I've searched for books and stuff, and they weren't coming up before. Because we've got the, the Cave of Tre Treasures. That seems to be the shortened version of the Book of Adam and Eve. And then you've got all these Essene books coming out. And I don't know what the source is. I think it's spiritually um, fed information. Um, and when, when it is that, you kind of got to tune in to... It takes a while listen to quite a bit of it but whoever the medium was on earth what are their preconceptions so from what I've listened to that medium is pretty much pretty tied into um, the Bible being the word of God so in that sort of Christian sort of doctrine I'd say um, and while I'm listening to it, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm probably wrong, because, you know, there's some things in, in, the, in the Adam and Eve which really sh strike a nail, like, you can really imagine it being true, and some parts probably are, but I do think it's just like, an embellishment of the lie, that lie I opened this video with. Uh, it's just an embellishment upon that. Now within that might come some truths. You know, Adam might have thrown himself off a mountain and killed himself, but God brought him back to life. That may have happened. Um, yeah, but I'm seeing it, there's some contradictions as well, like... Now, I've heard of the, the, the Book of Jasher and the Book of Jubilees. Now, I don't think it was Jasher. Now, they've been around for a while, I know that. And in the Book of Jubilees, I heard that after Adam and Eve had Seth, they had nine other children. And in there as well, they mentioned that Cain came with a, t his, a girl at, at the same time, and Abel came with a girl at the same time. Now, here might be another truth, is that Adam and Eve wanted Cain to marry the girl that came out with Abel, and wanted Abel to marry the girl that came out with Cain. Now, it was always said that the girl that came out with Cain was very beautiful. Um, so this could have been another thing that Cain was pissed off about. Because if it was his soulmate, if they were soulmates, they would know that no, they were meant to be together. And that makes more sense to me because, and that makes more sense to me is how God would have created Adam and Eve as babies in a natural way. You know, God could do whatever. But that makes sense to me. But it's very, this book of Adam and Eve, very detailed about <clears throat> after they left the Garden of Eden. And it's very interesting. I think it does shed some light. But discernment is definitely required. And that you know, there are some quite laborious, boring bits. But um, that book of Adam and Eve, I think I'll listen to that one again. 
so there's a lot of new stuff coming out which I like because it's more material and it's um, showing you know showing that the, the Bible isn't infallible and there are slightly different accounts of things like this is seen as one they're talking about the holy blood of Abel and and the, oh yeah and they're making Cain out to be the the bad egg and this is something I don't like in society I noticed believe people have that they can be a bad egg or a bad apple and they're just bad and there's nothing you can do for them they're just bad you know and that Cain has definitely been painted with that you know especially even more so in these you know he's just like the instigator of everything and the corrupter of everything and They're saying that this in you know each in the line of Seth each was made to make the promise that they wouldn't um talk with the daughter the sons of Cain and stuff. And that they were up on the mountain and down on the <coughs> <coughs> down where the earth is black is um all people of Cain. And that Cain, the people of Cain were trying to tempt them down with music. And, and they were saying that there's devilry in all, all these instruments, you know. And they blow these instruments and devils came in upon them. You know, that's just negative, isn't it? And music is cool. Music is good. There's nothing bad about music. And that Cain, they were... They were Dying their clothes, and you know, and probably were just having lots of sex, but probably quite having quite a lot of fun as well. So that then the um, then the, the people of Seth's line eventually were tempted to go down there, except from you know that line Enoch and da 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 da, da. and this. That does, that to me, does have some truth in it. And it may not have been, you know, so literally up there on the mountain, down there and the thing. It may have been a more sort of metaphorical going down, you know, down into that sort of unpious, if you like, you know. But in a sense, we need... We need to. We need to have experienced it. We need to have tried because, you know, God likes fun and fun is good. <laughs> you know, it doesn't all have to be fornication and stuff. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, so I quite like that aspect of it, but, you know, the, the taint in the scripture is... Is, is too much. Just blaming that one man. That bad egg. There's no bad egg. He did what he needed to do. And there's a contradiction with a few things. And I think an invention that um, Lamech, and I think they're talking about the Lamech in Cain's line, who who took two wives and then said if Cain be avenged sevenfold I'd be avenged seventy seven. They said he was blind and that he accidentally killed Cain. And I'm pretty sure we know that Cain died in his own house because the, the roof fell in on him. That's been known for a while. So they said like this is his new information and yeah, it definitely needs discernment, but very interesting, opening the mind, and and I'm all for that good stuff. To be or not to be, that was the next thing on the list, but I've already said that.
Wonder with your thoughts where they take you is telling. But yeah, we'll say about that. In the book of the scenes, it was good. I like said, it told like nature teaches us about God, not scripture. You know, it was saying like don't try and learn about God from scripture, which isn't alive. You know, the nature out there is alive, has God force of God in it, that's where you can learn about God. So I'm in, I'm in agreement with that. We were given this life in preparation for our eternal life. We will ultimately reach source. 100 billion years-ish. So that's, that's it from the list. Mm. I was going to um, look on the internet and get a chart and see how, how many earthquakes and the magnitude over the last 10 years, say. Because I've definitely seen... That